Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to the BeatStrike channel. For today's review, we have the Novo Gun 67 watts wall desktop charger right here. Now, Novo may not be a staple brand when it comes to the European market, Canadian market or US market, but not to worry, they have been in Amazon and other e-commerce sites for many, many years. They are more notable when it comes to computer accessories such as cables, adapters, and even USB-C hubs. But currently, they are lately venturing into power solutions such as power station, power banks, and efficient gun chargers like the one we see right here. So, it's the first time this product or this brand came to our channel. Let's take a look what it can offer. GUN stands for gallium nitride, a material used in semiconductor that produce less heat at higher power draw and deliver better conversion efficiency from your wall AC to your cable DC at higher voltages. Another benefit is more parts can be packed closely together for a compact size like you're seeing right here. So here's a close-up of the charger right here. They went with the dual tone color scheme right here but it's all matte finish all around right here. Gun metal and black finish, you can see the logo right here, you can see the detailing right here on the gun metal finish is the integrated us prongs on the other end is basically the usb ports right here now when comparing the size versus a iphone 13 pro max camera module right here you can see from the usb perspective it's almost the same size as a camera module right here now if you look at the long end definitely it juts out slightly it's a little bit elongated but again when we compare with a large iphone 13 pro max phone right here the size is relatively compact for the wattage that it's offering right here. And in fact, one thing I like about Novo is they included a 1 meter long silicon cable right here. I would have preferred if it's braided, but I understand for costing reasons. More importantly, this cable right here is not just a typical USB C to C cable right here. It has a built in e market chip right here that I managed to validate that supports 100 watts charging. So you can use this cable for even more powerful chargers like 100 watts onwards. And it does support data transfer speeds of USB 2.0 or 480 megabits per second. It's a little bit slow, but you know, at least you can transfer some, you know, photo files or video files on the go if you need to do so. On to performance of the charger right here, starting with the charging standards. The USB-C supports power delivery 3.0 standards, whereas the USB-A port right here supports a variety of standards, starting with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 at 18 watts, Huawei SCP at 22.5 watts, Samsung SF C at 25 watts and more importantly, Oppo Super Volk 50 watts charging. So you can see the engraving right here, it says 50 watts max. So if you are an Oppo smartphone user, you can use your original Super Volk cable on this charger right here and actually charge your smartphone quickly. So it's very rare to see a 50 watts on a USB-A. So yeah, this is kind of powerful. Now, let's talk about my actual real test. Based on my test, the USB-C port right here is rated for 67 watts output charging. I managed to get at 76 watts, which is 9 watts more than advertised. That's a plus point right there. While the USB-A promises a 50 watts maximum output charging, with the SuperVoc triggered with my PD tester right there, I managed to get 47 watts. So it's 3 watts less, but it's still good enough and it's much quicker than a typical USB-A. So a plus point right there if you have an Oppo smartphone. I also tested multi-port charging and using both the USB-C, which is rated at 45 watts, and USB-A rated at 18 watts, for a total of rated 63 watts output, I managed to get at 65 watts maximum. That's slightly better than advertised, meaning you can use the USB-C port right here to charge hungry powered device like your MacBook Pro, your tablet, and use the USB-A to charge your other battery operated devices, maybe drone, camera batteries, LED batteries, or even your smartphone. So not too bad, small compact size, but pack a punch. So here's my take about the Novo charger after using it for a week plus charging various devices. This is one travel friendly compact size power pack gun charger right here. Despite only having two USB ports, I think that is a good balance to actually max out this 67 watts or basically 65 watts if you're doing multi-port charging right here. It is good enough to charge my MacBook Pro on the go. It can charge my smartphone on the go without 
you know, having that extra weight in a bag. So you can actually buy multiple of these and put one on each bag right here. So it's a contingency plan in case you don't carry like your 140 watt charger or 200 watt gun charger. So this is a good travel friendly option or a option where you can just buy as a backup to put in every bags that you own if you have like, you know, five bags like me. Now, aside from that, it comes with a cable. It's nice that brands include a cable. Oftentimes, other chargers, you buy the charger without a cable. So Novo include a charger. That's a plus point for me. Uh, price is right for the performance right here. Again, there is no major drops when it comes to charging speed. That's very important, especially for PD control device. And overall, I had a very good experience with Novo. And despite this is their first time in the channel, they actually perform with flying colors. So would I recommend this? Uh, yes, if you see the price is right, it's something that you like in terms of design and you see the performance is good, you can give it a shot. I'll include all the purchase links down below in the video description as well as in the comments. Uh, then yeah, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope next round Novo sends me their power station and that's where we can maybe try camping video for once. Till then, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.